first unscripted review that I'm going to be doing for you guys is Superman issue 701 and it's by J. Michael Straczynski and the pencils are by Eddie Barrows. Eddie Barrows has some really, really great pencils in here. He really captures emotion. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I've been looking forward to issue 701 since the end of issue 700 of Superman. And if you didn't read issue 700, it was a compilation of different stories by different uh, writers. And the very last story in that issue was a Straczynski story. And it was kind of a, a prologue into what we can expect for this new Superman storyline. So, now that we said that, um, what did I think of 701? Well, um, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I thought the writing was good. I think Straczynski's doing something interesting with Superman. You know, usually when we read a Superman story, we expect these intergalactic wars, and Superman is fighting these super crazy bad guys, and he's really strong and they're just a lot of the time it's just a lot of stereotypical Superman and here we have um, Straczynski in an attempt to ground this really really powerful character by having him walk from city to city across the United States. Ironically enough the name of this new story arc is Grounded Part 1. So um, like I said Superman is going from one city to the next, listening to people and their problems, and trying to solve little issues, little problems, not fight these intergalactic wars. So there is one, I have one sort of small complaint. Um, and it, Straczynski actually brought it up in the issue. Um, outside of the diner in this scene, there is a journalist and he's on the phone and he says, this is nuts, you can't make a story about a guy walking down the street, I'm coming back in. And it, he's kind of right, I guess. I mean, how interesting will this be, Superman going from one city to the next? How long will you read about Superman just walking for a long time? I'm, I mean, I know you can make a story out of it, but how interesting is it going to be? And I really hope that by the end of it, he, he has evolved maybe in, in a different way and he does a lot of reflecting about himself and his own character, not just reflect about other characters that he encounters, which is what he did here. There's also another scene that I thought was kind of weird. Um, it's a scene with these drug dealers. So Superman runs into a bunch of drug dealers and and they sort of start harassing him. Now clearly it is nighttime in this scene. When the drug dealers run away, uh, Superman sees this little boy and he's like, I want you to relay a message to them. Which immediately went off in my mind, like what is this little boy doing outside with these drug dealers in the middle of the night? It just seemed really, really weird. Would, would he just leave this little kid there? So that was really strange. I was kind of surprised in that in the dialogue between Lois and, and Superman in the beginning of the issue, it sounded like he was just telling her that he had planned to do this and they hadn't had a discussion about it at first, which I find sort of odd because they're married. So yeah, there were some, some little nitpicky things that I, I had a problem with, but uh, overall the issue is solid. It is a new direction for Superman. I hope that they do develop his character in a different way. I think Straczynski is setting it up to be an interesting way to um, allow Superman to evolve. Now if you're a Superman fan, I would love to hear what you think because I'm not the biggest Superman fan, but I like the comic. And if you've never read Superman before, I really want to know what you think. And I do recommend this as a jumping on point into discovering the character. Um, because he's going on a journey of self-discovery, so why don't you go along with him if you've never read his comic before. I don't want to say anything else without giving it away. Uh, so four out of five, not bad.